Okay, uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Bruce, and uh, today I'm just going to share with you a story about my experience and some of the things that I've, I've, I've gone through and, and, and my work in new development and some of the positive stories. Uh, four years ago, I was working for an organization. I, I really hated my job. I used to go to work every day and I used to think, man, I don't want to be here. It was like a horrible experience uh, being in a space where you, you're constantly going to work and I wasn't really feeling like I'm fitting within that space. And uh, part of my work uh, required me to actually move around communities and engage with young people and trying to have an understanding of, of the challenges that they're facing and so forth. And I remember one day I went to my grandmother, who's like uh, 70 year old, and I mean, she's the woman who practically raised me. So, you know, I remember going to her, and, 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 and I mean, we I have so much love for her, but we don't really get to connect. I mean, you know, we struggle to actually engage because, you know, she's more traditional and, 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 and she's more conservative, and here I am, and I'm, I'm, so, I'm so liberal, and I feel like, you know, I really want to do this, and I really want to do that. And, and there's that constraint of, of her trying to understand what it actually means to be a young person in 2013. I mean, she, she grew up in the 1940s. So she has a different understanding of what it means to be a young person. And then, then we get to sit, you know, and we get to discuss certain things. And she has already, I mean, she has her own understanding of what social networking is. I mean, for her, her own experience of social networking is sitting around a fire and, and discussing whatever. And with me, I'm thinking, you know, social networking is, you know, posting about what I'm eating, you know, or checking out the hot girl that I'm seeing on Facebook, you know. And, and that's my understanding. And I get to go to her place, to her farm sometimes, and uh, I see the need to check in. You know, I get there and I'm like, you know, holding my phone and she's wondering, what are you doing? And, and I get to tell her, no, I'm checking in. And she's, she's thinking, why is it important for you to tell the world that you just got here? And... And until now, I don't really know why it's important. But, but we do it anyway, you know? So it's just interesting because she has her own ideology of what it means to be a young person. And over the years, you know, when you speak about youth, her understanding of young people is an extension to a political system. She thinks of young people who are uprising in Soweto. She thinks about all these things that have been happening with young people, you know, when she speaks about countries like Malawi and Mozambique and what's been happening with young people. Uh, during the liberation struggle and the row, and, and I'm here and I'm thinking, that's not me. You know, I'm in a space where I, I make my income from the internet. You know, I'm an internet entrepreneur and I, I tell my granny that and she doesn't really understand what that is because she believes that a real job is actually working in the field. That's why she believes, she believes that you gotta sweat for things, you know. I mean, how do you say you make a living by just sitting behind a computer? And that's what I do, you know. So we have these challenges that, you know, we're trying, to, to understand each other. And I think it's really one of the challenges that the youth demographic is really faced with, you know? When we speak about, you know, trying to find ourselves and try to fit in with that, with that frame where we engage with the older demographic and particularly, you know, the authoritative generation in trying to speak on issues affecting us as young people. And I think, you know, when, when you look at some of these statistics, but I mean, who's that guy? <laughs> I mean, I don't think it really, it really looks like me, but, but, but yeah. So, so, you know, when, when you look... <laughs> Thank you. So, I mean, you get to see all these statistics that speak about, you know, the youth demographic, the extent of which, you know, we have the large chunk of the continent made up of young people. And I think, you know, this, this over the years has, I mean, people's perception of it, because we get to see these high stats of young people who are employed in South Africa. In Africa, we get to see young people revolting. And I think, you know, there's this misconception that, you know, this, this growing youth demographic creates only challenges. And I, I admit that to some extent, you know, we get to see the extent of which young people are unemployed. It's really a sad sight. I, I get to, to have the privilege of traveling and going to communities. And you see these young people who have a real metric qualification, but they, they spend the whole day sitting on street corners in the communities, you know? And I think these are some of the challenges that we as young people are faced with because as a young person, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, man, I need to get a job and I need to get a car and I need to get, it's all these things that we struggle with and trying to find ourselves as young people. And I think, I think you know, I, I'm not going to go through these challenges that young people are faced with because you experience this every day. We see the statistics, we see the news, 
But I believe that um, Africa and South Africa's demographic dividend creates a lot of opportunities, you know. We, we recently, uh, I was reading uh, the EU World, one of, these, one of these magazines, and they speak about how Western Europe, uh, uh, is, by, 2013, uh, by 2030, they would have experienced over 12 million of its workforce would have shrunk by 2013. And then we get to be here in Africa where we have this vast youth demographic, you know, young people who have the potential to actually contribute to the workforce of the continent. So I think we get to you know, speak a lot about all these key things that, that are very important. You know? We talk about employment, that we have young people who can actually contribute to the development of the continent. Because it's really important that we see young people not just as, we see young people not just as uh, vehicles of change. I believe that we are at a space where young people should actually be seen as drivers of change. One of the challenges that I've seen when it comes to, to corporates and you know, these big companies is that there is that feeling, that constant attitude that you know, young people are always involved from a perspective of jumping onto campaigns and being part of certain ideologies that most of these corporates actually have. But we want to see a shift where we see young people actually actively playing roles in issues relating to them. I believe that it's important that when we speak about you know, policies and so forth. Young people need to be part of those policies. You know, the, the, the formulation of those policies, particularly when it comes to issues that actually, you know, that, that are of concern to young people. And I think that, you know, my experience with a lot of platforms and a lot of networks is that you find that, you know, you have this initiative that, that, that is targeting young people and there is no representation of young people in the, within those spaces. And I think that it's really important that you know, we, we view young people from the perspective that as a young person, uh, we are completely enthused by the need to see development in our spaces. And I think the great thing, you know, we, have, we have seen a couple of presentations where young people as young as 12 years old, as young as 15 years old, are actually coming up with solutions to addressing some of these challenges that, that, that they faced in their communities. You know? That young kid there, I mean, he came up with an idea to scare off lions. And he's just young, he's just probably 12 year old or 15 year old. But when you really think of it, it speaks to say that there is real potential in the youth demographic. We need to invest in young people. There are these very key sectors, you know, employment, entrepreneurship. What are we doing as, as, as the authoritative generation in creating spaces where young people can actually think? One of the constraints that we have is that we get to have a lot of initiatives that speak about funding youth initiatives, you know. We say, no, we know what, we're going to give you X amount of money if you come up with an idea that's going to change the world or, you know, generate income. And I think it's really important that we have an understanding of where, who are the young people and where they are. I have seen, if you go to a lot of townships here in South Africa, you realize that there is an influx of certain types of businesses in these communities. When you go into most of these locations and, and, and hide into the suburbs, you realize that most young people are starting, you know, they have like a tuck shop, you know, they have a saloon, they have a car wash. And I believe that it's important for us to create these thinking spaces where we stimulate young people to actually think outside the box and think and see themselves as, as change agents to issues affecting people in the community and come up with solutions that can actually drastically change and improve the lifestyles of people in these communities. And I think one of the key issues that I've always personally felt that we need to promote, we need to promote uh, a generation of young people whose contribution is not merely of, you know, determined by where you are as a young person. I believe that if we have an idea that's stimulating very good change in their community. There is a need for us to, to, you know, to, to, to push the idea out of, out of your community to another community, out of South Africa to other, com to other countries in Africa, because I believe that the responsibility to develop our continent is not just somebody's responsibility. It's also your responsibility as an African to actually want to facilitate development in the lives of other young people. And I think I've been really blessed to be in a space where I engage a lot with young people across the continent, young people who are really passionate about what they're doing, who are really passionate about the countries, 
but they get to all face all these constraints. But, but what's more exciting is that this demographic, this select uh, group of young people believe that they can do anything with the resources that they have. And I think this is the, the type of uh, approach that we need to, you know, the type of attitude, the type of message we need to communicate to young people that they can start wherever they are with whatever they have. And we, we have seen the story of that young boy who just, you know, used his mom's uh, radio and, and, and used a battery and he came up with a solution that has changed the way, the way people in his community uh, uh, live. He has come up with a solution that has almost uh, addressed a lot of a wide variety of these of this challenges. And I think as much as we see the need for us to promote innovation in South Africa, in Africa, I think it's very important that we promote innovation. But sometimes I believe that sometimes, you know, the term innovation is so broad sometimes that I think it gets lost so much in translation to an extent where we almost always trying to figure out what's really innovative. And, and the experience that, that I've seen is that, you know, when you get into certain spaces where you have individuals who are directly, you know, communicating and, and promoting and advocating innovation, to some extent it feels as if, to a large extent, it does feel that they are the ones who are actually constraining innovation. Because they are, there isn't really that understanding of saying anyone can actually come up with a solution that can change the way we are. I, I don't believe that innovation is simply creating a gadget. And I can rest assure you in a lot of instances, that's almost the ideology around what innovation is. They believe that innovation is creating a gadget. And I'm saying that we need to create these spaces where we celebrate young people. I don't believe that we actually need to have a young person who is doing remarkable work in South Africa, noticed by an international media house, for us to actually start recognizing him. I believe that we need to create these platforms where we celebrate young people, where we create these spaces. We speak about you know, innovation. We speak about collaboration. What are we doing to connect young people across these communities, young people across the world, to actually come up with, the, with solutions to addressing some of the challenges that the continent is facing. And I'm, I've been really privileged to, to have been in a space where through my engagement with young people in South Africa and just being able to travel in a lot of communities, I, I realized that young people were struggling to access developmental information. And I think through that experience, I, I managed to be part of a number of youth initiatives and youth portals across Africa in South Africa with Youth Village and Botswana Youth, and we're working on some other projects on the continent where we're trying to alleviate the challenges that young people are faced when it comes to access to information. So I really believe that, and I don't think that that's a comprehensive solution to the challenges that young people are faced, but I started off with the little resources that I had, and we have managed to grow the platform to an extent where we have, you know, we're doing at least 150,000 monthly visitors from young people who are accessing developmental information. And my belief is that we need to equip young people with, with the knowledge. We need to equip young people with the resources to be able to develop themselves. Because they are the youth demographic. They are the people who are going to actually have to deal with certain things or have to change the environment and come up with solutions to the environment. But that speaks a lot on what do young people want? You know, as a young person, what are we asking for? We're saying that we want to have a voice. We want to be heard. We want to be in a space where we can actually be taken seriously. Because young people do care about, about issues affecting them. And I've told you that, you know, my grandmother, me and her, we rarely agree on anything. But that doesn't speak to say that, you know, we, 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 don't, we don't have the same aspirations. She wants me to be the best person I can be, and, and I, want, I want to be the best person I can be, but we have different understanding of where we are, and, 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 and I think the digital age has just you know, made things a bit difficult. We don't connect anymore, but I believe that the authoritative demographic, uh, generation and the youth demographic, we need to find and create spaces where young people and that demographic can actually work together and come up with solutions that can help address the challenges that we are facing as young people. One thing that I've always questioned myself is that, you know, I've always felt that, uh, I've always asked myself, what legacy do I want to leave? You know, with, with, as a person, as a human being, you know, as a person who is in this space where, you know, I get to see all these things happening. 
And I think one very thought-provoking thing that I've, I've drawn from all the experiences, from all the challenges that we see in our communities is that I believe that at some point, your value as a person, you know, your role as a person, your value as a person is, of, is of, of, of little matter if it does not contribute to the development of people around you. Thank you.